1963 I was 17 and I was in the cycling club and I got a hold of a copy of Paris Match and I was looking for the cycling pictures from the Tour de France and I came across a photograph by Henri Cartier-Bresson. The photograph was Boy with Two Bottles of Wine, Rue de Mouffard, 1954. And this photograph stopped me in my tracks. For some reason, and I couldn't have told you why, I didn't think it was a snapshot and I certainly didn't know what it was. But I thought about it a lot. And I was, at that time I was a trainee hotel manager and a couple of months later my father came to me and told me that he was prepared to pay for me to go to college in Switzerland because that was the great place to train hotel, hotel managers. And a month after his kind offer, I went to him and said, I'm not going to be a hotel manager, I'm going to be a photographer. I became a freelance photographer, and I then worked for various people. I was well known as, a, as an assistant, uh, uh, worked for very, you know, many different people, and ended up in 1969 in New York at the Museum of Modern Art. I'd never seen an exhibition of photography. It was actually a Bill Brandt show, but what impressed me most was the permanent collection. I was so uh, elated when I came out of that show, I, I, I realised I could do photography for its own sake. So I thought about it all that night and decided I would go back to the Isle of Man and photograph there because I had many advantages. I was known in the Isle of Man, known to people, and I called my dad and asked him could I come and work for him at night behind the bar, and I would photograph in the day, and he, he very kindly said yes. Then in 1975, I moved to Newcastle, and I photographed there until I went to Harvard in 1991. It's interesting to me to be seen completely freshly and differently in countries like Germany and France, but in England there's a lot of baggage. The, the show here, the current show at the Photographer's Gallery for the prize, is a big reduction from the 140 photographs at Essen, or the 75 that were in Paris. So I've tried to sort of be, as much as I can, to replicate the Paris show. I'm very conscious of myself as an historian of sorts. That's why the text that's in this exhibition, which is the preface of the book Arbeit Work, is important to me. When I take a picture, I know one thing, that the image I've taken is consigned to the past. You know, I can't bring it back into the future, it was then. It belongs in the past. And when I was photographing in Newcastle, I knew this was going to change. I had no idea that it was going to change as quickly as it did. But you knew it wasn't going to last. That's why I felt it was also important to be there, to, you know, to, to be photographing. But I couldn't have told you that the area was going to be devastated in the way that it was. That I didn't know. You just felt that you might have been at the end of something, not that something was going to be ended so violently, and also um, replaced with nothing. You know, that, was, that was what you couldn't have foreseen.